When working with Baselinker, we use the order list very often. Let's get acquainted with this view. In the upper left corner, we can add an order. We can create an order by completing all the fields manually or create an order for an existing customer. We can also search for them by tax identification number in the Central Statistical Office database. Right below this, we have all orders, no matter what status they are in. Below, we have groups of statuses depending on the configuration of the account. Below is an archive. Orders are placed in the archive after two to three months depending on the period. If we delete the order, it will go to the bin. Orders are stored in the bin for a month. Below, we have the option to go to the status configuration or refresh the order counter if we make any changes to the list. Right at the top, we have the option to mark orders on this page or on all of them or mark orders with an asterisk. We can change the status of orders in bulk or send a bulk message for selected orders. The same is the case with generating a sales document or printouts and exports. We can additionally send such a printout immediately, export it directly to the printer. From the list level, we can also send a courier or enable the packing assistant option. Here we can enable custom event actions or basic actions on orders. The list of orders can be sorted in various ways and displayed descending or ascending. On the right, we have the option to change the quantities on the orders page. The moment we set 50, we have one page of orders in our case. If we go back to the default value, we have two pages of orders. Let's move on to filtering orders. We are in basic view. For example, let's filter orders by status. Let's choose the DHL courier and set the filter. We have seen several orders that are in the DHL courier status. Let's clear the filters. The next filter is the order sources. Let's choose any of the others. We set the filter. We have nine items in the list that are in any other source. Let's clear the filters. Let's move on to advanced filtering. From this view, we can set advanced filters to search the list of orders. For example, on the FedEx courier status and select DHL courier, we set the filter. As you can see, we have four orders that are in these statuses. We can add the condition OR that is similar to the above selected statuses. Let's check how it will work in the event that the order status will be given in addition to, say, a UPS courier. We set the filter. The system found orders in three statuses, DHL, FedEx, and UPS. Let's remove this filter. An additional option is also saving filters. We can create a new view. Let's add the name of the view as FedEx plus DHL. Let's save it. After cleaning the filter, you can easily return to our filtering. Let's choose a set filter. Our filters have been refilled automatically. We can manage views, sort them, or delete them. Let's delete the record and let's close. Another feature of advanced filtering is the possibility of filtering on several conditions. For example, the country contains Brazil. Click and. In this case, we can choose that the orders should also be in the status. Let's choose, for example, shipped. Let's set the filter. As you can see, no orders can be displayed. Let's add more statuses then. Let's set the filter. This is how we found an order that is in the shipped status and the country selected was Brazil. 
Let's clear the filters. And close the filtering of orders. If we are working in an order list where we have many orders on one page, while scrolling down the bar that we mentioned earlier will appear at the bottom. This makes it easier to perform various operations on orders.